Hey guys, it's Melanie here and I just wanted to quickly get on and explain a little bit more about what is Powerhouse Web Designer exactly, what's included, how is it going to help your business. It actually covers a lot, so I thought a quick little info session would be really great. So Powerhouse Web Designer, this is an online course I created that actually takes you step by step to help you organize your business so that you can increase your rates, get better clients, uh, have more time and energy and creativity so that you can actually have the life that you envisioned when you started your business. A lot of us have this great vision for ourselves. We want flexibility, we want independence, we want freedom. Then we get into our business and we're like, Oh my God, <laughs> there's so many things coming at me. You feel like you're constantly problem solving. You feel overwhelmed, you feel burnt out, and you don't really feel closer to having that life that you want. And I know for a fact that you are so close to having it. Most people, uh, they're actually doing the right things. They're just not doing them in order, which is where the step-by-step -step framework comes into play. Um, most people are so close to having that life that they want. Uh, they just need to tweak a few different things and then everything will explode for them. So I know you're really, really close to getting the results you want, and I know that you can do this. So let's talk about what Powerhouse Web Designer is so that you can understand if it will be a good fit for you. So what it is not is it's not about Frankensteining all of these different strategies together to create your business. What I want for you is a holistic ecosystem that is working to support the life you want. So we do that through four steps within Powerhouse Web Designer. The first step is clarifying your vision and your value. Now, this is one of four steps, but it's where we're actually going to spend half of your time in the course. Most people actually skip this foundational step, which then they wonder, why, why don't I feel secure? Why don't I feel stable? Why am I not gaining the traction that I want? But it's because you didn't build that solid base. So during step one, we're going to get really, really clear on your vision. We're going to get really, really clear on your value. We're going to organize your business. We're going to set your marketing foundations. We're going to get clear on your idle client. We're going to get clear on your buyer process. We're going to get clear on how to position your, your business and your services and talk about them so that they seem really, really attractive to your idle clients. And we're also going to develop the building blocks of your business. So your design process, your project timeline, your rates, your actual packages, and we're going to put it into a service guide that will be really, really clear and easy for your, your clients to understand what you do and how you help. So that's the first step. And like I said, it's where we're gonna spend most of your time, at least half of it. And the reason why we do that is because this is the step that introduces the confidence that people are looking for. This is where you get really, really clear on the value you provide. It's where you bring a voice to your business, where you understand how to talk about it, where you feel really excited about what you're doing again. Uh, so this one's a really, really fun step for me because this is where all of the aha moments happen and where the light bulbs go off for most students in Powerhouse Web Designer. Once you're through with that step, we move to step two, which is equipping yourself with the right tools and tech. Now, I know that tech isn't a very sexy topic, but this is actually a really short module within the course. Um, and we go over just a few simple tools. I say simple, one of them is Dubsado, and it's actually a really robust tool, but we take it in stages so that it's not overwhelming to set up. So we're gonna set up the basics of Dubsado in step two. I'm also gonna show you how to set up a project template within Asana so that you and your clients can stay on track. It's gonna automate reminders. It's gonna help them see how the whole process works together. It's really, really great. And then we'll go over a few other tools that really help tighten up the whole system and allow you to build out your processes in step three. And I want to say my philosophy with tools and tech within your business is not to replace you, but to support you. I want your business to feel like a great experience for your clients and tools can't replace you um, if you want to have that great connection and help clients feel supported. So we do that by using tools that support you and support your process and help move everything along so that you can just focus on the results for your clients and focus on your creativity and your design process. So that's step two. 
Step three is building out the major systems of your business. So we're gonna build out five systems within step three. And these are really, really important because once you build and streamline and automate these five things, the rest of your life gets so much easier. You have so much more energy and time and creativity to focus on your clients, market your business, have a life, take weekends off, all of that fun stuff. So these are really, really great. And it's done in a really guided way so that it's easy to set up. So the first system is getting clients. If you don't have clients, you don't really have a business, do you? And this is where most of us kind of flatline our businesses. We'll get clients and then we focus on them and then the projects end and then we freak out because we don't have clients lined up and I want to eliminate that issue for you. So we're going to set up a really simple kind of sales funnel. We're going to make sure that we're able to attract leads to us and I want you to have a sales process that, that is easy to book um, new clients. So the first system is getting clients. The second system is booking them. So this needs to be completely streamlined. It needs to be templated out and automated. I know that so many clients or so many designers have a, um, a lot of issues with booking projects and we're gonna make this so easy. I'm gonna give you all of my templates, all of my actual documents. You're gonna be able to use them. You'll be able to use um, the lessons and videos that I've recorded for you to get this completely streamlined quickly. The third system that we're gonna build out is your content collection process. Now, web designers, no matter how long they've been in business, no matter how experienced they are, even big web design agencies struggle with getting content from clients. And I have developed a system and a template that really supports clients in um, giving you the content, helping them understand what to say on each page of their site. And it's gonna help you kind of organize the content strategy and fill in all the gaps. I figured this out and I've completely eliminated this issue and you're going to be able to streamline your content collection process and use it to increase your rates because it's going to increase the value of your services like crazy. So that is the third system we're going to build out. The fourth one is uh, presenting your work and guiding the feedback process. I know that this is a part of the project process that can get completely derailed or make projects just drag on and on and on. So we're gonna eliminate that by building out a great system for presenting your work and guiding feedback. And then the fifth one is offboarding your projects. So once a client has gone through your entire project process, we wanna finish it as strongly as we started. We wanna wrap up the project with a nice little bow and we wanna use this offboarding part of your process to um, get testimonials, get feedback so that you can keep refining your process and making it better and then leverage client relationships so get new work and uh, maybe even get new clients from these clients that you work so hard to get. So those are the first three steps. Once you've completed all three of those steps, the next thing I want you to do is move on to step four, which is optimizing your business for growth. Now there are eight different kind of uh, projects that I give you. I want you to pick one and completely finish that one little project. And then once you finish that, you can move on to the other one. And it's like a choose your own adventure situation. Um, so I'm gonna, let me just go to my website really quick so I can tell you what these are. So the, the step four projects, there are eight to pick from. I'm just gonna go through these quickly. And if you want more information, just go to powerhousedesigner.com and look for um, the four steps. And it's gonna go over each of these projects more in depth within step four. So the eight projects are optimizing your website, optimizing your sales funnel, opting, optimizing your design process with website strategy, um, client leveraging, understanding how to diversify your income with ongoing services or a digital product, um, an advanced Dubsado setup module. So we kind of cover the basics within the first three steps, but if you want to kind of take Dubsado to the next level, I'll show you some ways you can do that. We're also going to talk about hiring support. So if that's one of the things you want to work on, you can figure out where can I start hiring support within my business, and then I'll show you step by step how to go about it coming up with a job description, what questions to ask during the interview, and even where you can go to find um, the support team members for your business. And then the last optimization project is analyzing your numbers and kind of getting metrics and data so that you can make better decisions for your business. I'm all about 
kind of using your intuition to move through your business, but we don't need to be making emotional decisions when things kind of aren't going right. We need to have hard data so that we understand where we can troubleshoot in our business so that we can get the results we want. Um, so I'm going to give you spreadsheets and help you understand what numbers you need to track and how to troubleshoot if there are things going on wrong. So those are the four steps of the course. Those are the core content. And then also you're going to get access to a Facebook group so that you can come to the community with questions that you have. If you need support and help as you're implementing the material, you're going to be able to go there and lean on other designers going through the process with you. And then we're also going to have monthly Q and A calls. So this is where you can get direct access access to me and ask me your questions. We'll also do little mini trainings on these. I'm really, really excited to be having the Facebook community and the monthly calls. I think these are going to explode your results even more. I know for me, I feel like I can do anything when I've got actual support and that's what I want for you. I want you to have the tools and the templates and the swipe copy and the step-by-step -step guidance and the video lessons and the tech guides. I want you to have all of that but I also want you to have help figuring it out and implementing it so that's why I created the Facebook group and have the calls coming too so I am currently creating all of these updates for powerhouse web designer they're going live on December 15th and then the price is going up right now you can get it for $7.97 that's the pay in full option but there's also two payment plan options too um, because I just want this to be as accessible to as many people as possible so go to powerhousedesigner.com um, there's a great sales page with all of the information there's a great FAQ section there's more in-depth information about the these steps so look through that and then come back and find me if you have any questions I want you to have the support you need I want you to have the guidance the plan all of that stuff because like I said I know you are so close to having the results that you want and you need to take it from me I am a completely self-taught designer I'm a college dropout I'm from a tiny tiny town in Mississippi in the southern part of the US Seriously, the population is less than 200 people from the town I grew up in. I started about as low on the totem pole as you could get, and I figured out how to create a name for myself, how to have amazing clients, and I've already taught dozens of other designers how to do this, and I want you to have the support and help you need to. So do not wait. The price is going up on December 15th. You've got until December 13th to enroll, and if you enroll before December 2nd, which is a Monday, you can actually get an extra 10% off to celebrate Black Friday festivities. Um, so either way, even if you miss the Black Friday sale, you're still getting a great value. The price will be going up by at least $200 after December 15th. So so get in and get the most savings and let me know if you have any questions, okay?